Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So in this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you could duplicate clips and also copy and paste clips to whatever track that you want. Now, this is something that I thought was really easy to do, but once I tried to do it, I found it really confusing and I didn't find an easy way to do this. And so I'm going to be showing you how to do this because if you are brand new to DaVinci Resolve or maybe you've already been using DaVinci Resolve, this is something that's really not apparent. So let me show you what I mean by that. So let's say, for example, that you have this clip, there's a video and audio. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and separate these or unlink them, okay? So I'm going to unlink the clip. So basically, I just selected this, right click the mouse, and then uncheck this link clips. So now they're like separate clips. And the reason I'm doing this is because you might want to duplicate or copy and paste a video and an audio clip separately, okay? So that's why I'm doing this. So let's go ahead and do the video one. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the track right here. I'm going to right click on my mouse. I'm going to add track and I'm going to add the track above this one. Okay. So I'm going to add a track. So now I have video two. So you would think that all you would have to do is go ahead and select the video clip, right? And then right click or just do control C and then copy. And then you go up here to this track and paste, but it doesn't work. It actually pasted it on the same track where my playhead is at, which is not what I wanted. So I'm going to uncheck that. And so this is the same problem if you have an audio clip as well. So I have an audio track 2 down here. So I only have the audio clip selected. So if I right click, copy, then I go down here and I try to paste it, or even if paste insert, it does the same thing. You know, it basically appends it on whatever track that you are on. So that's a problem. And if you right click on your mouse, there is no other way that it seems like you could do that. So it's like, well, what do I do now? How do I actually fix this? Well, there's a number of things. And so the first thing is, let's go ahead and show you how to duplicate a clip. It's really easy and it's not something that's apparent. So say for example, I want to duplicate this video clip. All you have to do, at least on Windows, is select the clip that you want to duplicate and then you're going to hold down the alt key and then you're going to move it up or down whatever you know track that you want on it as you can tell it's duplicated and then the same thing here for your audio select it hold down alt move it down and bam now you have it duplicated and i wish it was a lot easier to do or more apparent i mean it is easy to do once you figure out how to do it but it's not really easy to see if you didn't know that all you have to do is hold down the alt key. Okay. So that's how you would duplicate a clip really easily. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. So let's go ahead and go back to the copy and paste, because in this case, you know, you might want to copy and paste uh, this clip on a certain place on your playhead okay so we're gonna do the same thing here so say you want to copy this clip but you want it on a different track in a different position so you could right click on your mouse and copy now this is something that is very very important so if you look here in your track there's this thing called auto track selector okay so you're gonna go ahead and deselect this and in this case I'm deselecting the video so the reason why I'm doing that is once I paste it, I want to paste it on this separate video track. So I'm going to paste it right here where my playhead is at. Okay. So I've already copied this and I want it to go right here. And if you notice, uh, this auto tracker selected, it is selected and this video one's deselected. So if I go ahead and paste it right now, so I'll go ahead and control V or right click on your mouse and paste, as you can see, it put the copied clip on the exact point of my playhead that I want. So this is why it's really not a easy to see thing, especially if you're brand new to DaVinci Resolve. And for a lot of us, I didn't know what auto track selector was, but that's what it does. It allows you to choose what tracks you want on and off in terms of like, you know, if you wanted to do an action like a copy and paste, that's how it knows, especially the track is blank, you know, that there's nothing there. So now that you've done that, I'm going to go ahead and turn this one off and I'm going to turn this one on. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the audio track. So I'm going to copy this 
audio clip, deselect it, and then make sure the second audio track, the audio track selector is on. I'm gonna move my playhead where I want it, and then right click and paste or control V, and bam, there it is. So that is how you would first duplicate a clip by using your Alt key, and then secondly, copy and pasting your clip to whatever track you want at whatever position that your playhead is at. So this is something that's definitely not apparent, but once you figure it out, it's really easy and it could be a very powerful tool, especially if you want to duplicate or copy and paste a lot of different tracks. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my DaVinci Resolve tutorials and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you're a creative geek like me, and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Goal Content Creators Group, where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Goal Content Creators Group.